hi everyone in this video i'm going to explain about the conversion from jk flip flop to t flip flop so conversion of a jk flip flop into t flip flop is nothing but we have a jk flip flop with us that jk flip flop needs to be converted into t flip flop that means we are having a flip flop which is j k these are the inputs of jk and two outputs are there commonly for every flip flop q q bar now this jk flip flop needs to be converted into a t flip flop so that means t is the only input for this flip flop and whatever the circuit we need to develop here that should be we need to calculate it okay that should be calculated so jk flip flop needs to be converted into t flip flop so for any conversion i told you first we need to calculate the boolean equations of j and k so here we should calculate we should calculate the boolean expression for j and k inputs j and k inputs that will be in terms of t that will be that will be in terms of t okay so that's why we have to consider the table in such a way that t is one of the inputs okay so first we need to draw the conversion table conversion table is derived from the excitation table excitation table is very very important when you are going for the conversions i told you already what do you mean by excitation table and how to derive what uh, different excitation tables for different flip flops in the previous videos okay so now we have to consider here the excitation table of the jk flip flop jk flip flop excitation is very important for the uh, jk flip flop to be converted into another type of flip flop okay so first external input external input and present state next state and then flip flop inputs flip flop inputs are nothing but j and k whichever the flip flop is available now that inputs are nothing but j and k so external input is nothing but a t here we have only one input for the t flip flop t and the present state is qn and the next state is qn plus 1 okay so this is the sorry this is the conversion table so by this time when you are learning the conversions from one flip flop to another flip flop you must be aware of the flip flop truth tables and as well as excitation tables okay so here we have external input present state next state and then jk inputs okay now t0 0 0 1 1 0 1 okay so t is equal to 0 what is the truth table from the truth uh, from the truth table of the t flip flop we have learned that when t is equal to 0 it maintains the same state in the next state but when t is equal to 1 it will complement the previous output so the 0 0 means again 0 because the previous state t is equal to 0 means it gives you the same as output same as the previous state so uh, previous state is 0 so now output is 0 again t is equal to 0 so t equal to 0 means whatever the previous state is there that will be carried out again for the next state so qn is equal to 1 so now it is 1 and t is equal to 1 that will complement the previous state so qn is equal to 0 means now it is 1 now it is 1 and again t is equal to 1 that will complement the previous state now it is 0 okay now we need to consider the flip flop inputs j and k from the excitation table excitation table so 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 
for 0 0 inputs the excitation table of the JKS shows you 0 and x because when the present state is 0 the next state will be 0 in two cases in the JK flip-flop that may be one is in 0 1 another one is 0 0 then we are commonly taking it as 0 x that we have studied in the previous videos and next present state is 1 next state will be also 1 this particular case will happen in two cases for j is equal to 0 and k is equal to 0 another chance another choice is j is equal to 1 and k is equal to 0 so x is 0 and next for present state is equal to 0 and next state is 1 this particular case will happen in two chances one is 1 0 another one is 1 1 so that's why it is 1 x and 1 0 case this will happen for two chances 0 1 and 1 0 0 1 and 1 1 so we are taking it as x 1 okay now what is the condition we should follow we should calculate the boolean expression for the j and k inputs that will be in terms of t so consider the j k map for j k map for j so k map for j is so the k map is okay k map we should consider only two variable k map because t is only one input so two variable k map is sufficient no need to go for uh, three variable k map two variable k map is sufficient so simply consider a two variable k map which gives you four combinations like this so t and q n t and q n so the external input t and q n okay 0 1 0 1 now 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 the output for j is 0 x 1 x 0 x 1 x so we can map these two as a prime implicant so j is equal to the expression boolean expression for j is now it is only t j is equal to t there is no other variable and similarly the k map for k k map for k so again consider two variable k map t q n 0 1 0 1 so k will give you the output as x 0 x 1 so x 0 x 1 x 0 x1 <clears throat> again you can map these two that will give you k is equal to again we have t that means both j and k will give you the input t together okay so that's why the conversion logic diagram logic diagram logic diagram of jk flip-flop to t flip-flop conversion so how it will be now just simply we are taking the jk internally we are having j and k operation but externally we will be having t as input and these two are connected together and this is the clock input c q q bar this is the flip flop jk flip flop okay so internally we are having jk flip flop but externally it is acting like a a T flip flop okay this is what the conversion of a JK flip flop from the uh, conversion of a uh, T flip flop from the JK flip flop now uh, one more important point here is if we see if the JK flip flop truth table is considered JK flip flop truth table is considered so one interesting fact is that j k q n plus 1 so here it is 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 okay so 0 0 means 
it maintains the previous state q and 0 1 means 0 1 0 means 1 but what do you mean by 1 1 when both k and j are 1 1 it will be q n bar it will be q n bar so when both j is equal to 1 and k is equal to 1 when j is equal to 1 and k is equal to 1 the output is the complement of complement of previous state previous state every time it changes the previous state output suppose if it is 1 next state it is 0 if it is 0 next state it is 1 like that we will be having 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 like that it will be a continuous flow continuous sequence okay that means what do you mean by this it means it is toggling it is toggling operation that is what your t flip-flop will do so t flip-flop is generated or originated from the jk flip-flop only but when it is both j and k are once both j and k are once this is what the toggle state toggle state okay this is also one of the reason why jk flip-flop is uh, used as the conversion for the tk uh, t flip-flop and even without any other logic gates okay as i mentioned here in the beginning we may need a logic circuit to convert a jk flip-flop into t flip-flop but fortunately we don't need anything because jk when it is short circuited that will be acting as a t flip-flop because of uh, from these analysis okay thank you